Catfish River in Indiana breached more than 14 feet above, rather above flood stage yesterday in one county. You're listening to NPR News from Washington. In New York, it's WNYC at 11.04. It's sunny, 46 degrees and a 55 today. Good morning, I'm Lance Lucky. Questions are swirling around the motives of the two men suspected of planting the Boston Marathon bombs and what role, if any, their religious identity may have played. Muslims in the Boston area say they're as glad as anyone if the alleged perpetrators were caught, but as WNYC spread local reports, they're concerned that the involvement of Muslim men in the crime will increase the potential for harassment and discrimination. Cambridge President Ahmed Noor says even though the suspects, Pamela and Joe Carter and were ethnic Chechens and identified to some degree as Muslims, he'd like to believe the bombing had more to do with the two men being mentally deranged than religiously fanatical. Still, Noor is concerned. We're American citizens, and you know we raise our children here, and it somewhat reflects on me. It makes it hard for us to, to live in our usual life. Nor moved here from Somalia when he was five, and he's an American citizen. He and others say the U.S. is more tolerant and supportive of Muslims now than immediately following 9/11, but tensions still flare from time to time. Nor hopes that even if it turns out that some kind of Islamic ideology did play a role. 